Hi everyone. Happy Monday. I'm a little late tonight. I mean, you know, we're here. It's not that bad. But hi, how are you? What's up everyone? Make sure that you say hello when you hop on. My name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches, and we are here tonight with another St. Patrick's Day craft. You can see all our other ones behind us. So like I said, say hello when you are hopping on. Drop some hearts. Hey, Peg. Drop some hearts and some comments, some thumbs up. Say hello. Sprinkle this out on your page if you love it. Um, like I said, my name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches, and we are doing another live craft tonight. Uh, yeah, we always do a live craft. Another St. Patrick's Day live craft. Hi, Mom. So, right, it's so funny. Every time I say hi, Mom, it's my dad's name, but, you know. So tonight we are making um, a St. Patrick's Day craft using one of these shamrock um, cutouts from the Dollar Tree. This is left over from last year. I actually haven't really gotten a lot of craft supplies lately in terms of, like, Dollar Tree holiday stuff. I've just gotten some, hi! I've just gotten some um, more, like, material, like, crafting materials like paintbrushes and stuff which I'll show you um but so tonight we're gonna learn how to paint buffalo check plaid it's super simple and then um we're gonna use the Gaelic word for welcome on our um on our shamrock here at the end so I've learned how to pronounce it in Gaelic and so I wanted to share that with you too all righty so first things first um, this shamrock from the Dollar Tree, the one that I have, has the kind of 3D hearts on it. This is going to be the back for us instead. We're not going to use this as the front. Um, I'm going to cut off the hanger. Um, we're not going to use that either. We will put another hanger on later. Get my trash going. Um, it's the Dollar 25 store. No kidding. I know, you know, and I really haven't been, I think I've only been once since, since they changed the name. You believe that? Um, all right, so that's my trash. Here we go. So we're going to paint our own buffalo check plaid. It's very simple to do, I promise. Um, I just love the look of buffalo check plaid. And once you know how to paint it yourself, um, you can customize your color, which is great. You don't have to just do whatever you find on a piece of scrapbook paper or tissue paper or napkin or whatever. So the first thing is you want to start with your base coat. Um, so... A lot of times it starts with white. I don't want to start ours with white tonight. I want to start mine with a stain. So I have our um, like baby wipe type wipes, wet wipes, whatever. This is how I prefer to stain wood. Um, say hey when you're hopping on, everybody. All righty. My name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. We're making a St. Patty's Day craft tonight. All right. Um, so I prefer to stain my wood using the Waverly Antique Wax and some wipes. Uh, you can also use a paintbrush and just wipe it off with a paper towel at the end. But so I'm literally just going to start bringing this on. Here we go. And this is going to be my base coat for the shamrock. Like I said, you can, a lot of people, you start a, um, start a Buffalo check plaid with white. I would, I don't want to with this one. Although you don't always have to, because I love red and black Buffalo check plaid. That's my favorite kind. My absolute favorite kind. One of the gifts I got this year from someone was um, an entirely buffalo check plaid little package. So it had a scarf and hair clips and the little bucket that everything came in was buffalo check plaid. And what else? An ear oh my God, and earrings. And like it was an entirely buffalo check plaid kit. It was perfect for me. <laughs> I loved it. So I'm just staining this whole thing. All right. And then we'll dry this, and then we'll get to the next step. So because this is a shamrock and we're going Irish, I am going to use green to make the, the buffalo check. But I'm going to use three different greens um, because you want varying levels of darkness when you do a, a plaid. Um, and, you know, that kind of gets achieved in the layering effect that you paint anyway. But I want it a little bit more pronounced, so... You, you'll see. You shall see. Now, if you've ever painted buffalo check plaid before, let me know. Um, it's super cool. Like I said, once you know how to do it, um, you, like the possibilities are endless. I did a really cute um, I, Christmas tree shop always has these like cute little wooden ornaments at Christmas time, obviously. Um, and one was like a set of skis last year. 
and I did I did like a gray scale buffalo check plaid on the on a canvas and then glued the the skis on the back on the front of it. It was really cute. All right, good thing about using wipes is that you can wipe your hands after. All right, so that's our base. Okay, nice and simple. How am I looking to everybody? I'm freezing on my computer, but I think on my phone I'm doing okay. So just let me know, okay? I'm gonna dry this up. So what's everybody up to? How are we all doing? It's Monday night after a nice weekend. Nothing, well, how'd, you get, how'd everybody make out in the snow on Friday? It really wasn't that, really wasn't that crazy. Um, we got a bunch of snow and then a bunch of rain, so it was heavy snow. Bob did all the shoveling. I was very lucky this time. All right. Dry this up because we're going to use painter's tape next. So you need every coat that you're going to use to be dry. All right. All right. So there is our stain. And again, we're using the backside of, you know, this kind of 3D shamrock. You can remove these. I kind of started to, and then I was like, ah, I don't need to, because now when it hangs against the wall, it'll kind of pop out a little bit as opposed to hanging super flat. So, and you know what? You could also make like a double-sided decoration, right? So we are using the flat side. Okay. Put these away. I don't need them anymore. Okay. So to start our buffalo check plaid, you need some painter's tape. I just have regular old blue painter's tape. You can use any kind of painter's tape of choice. And we're going to start with going across. Okay. So we're going to get a piece of painter's tape. And we're going to tape it across the middle-ish of our shamrock, all right? As straight as we can get it. Okay. I mean, if it's not perfect, it's not perfect. It is what it is, right, guys? Now, we're going to use a little spacer. This is just a spacer, okay? Now, the wider your tape, obviously, the wider your stripes. Um, so they do sell different sizes of tape. I'm just going with the one that I had in stock on hand. And then you just use your spacer and you just move it along. All right. And then you just move it, move it down. Moving the chains down the field. Moving the tape down the shamrock. Know what I'm saying? Obviously, I don't need huge pieces here because it's just a tiny stem. And when we're going to save these pieces after, okay? And last piece here. Well, actually, last piece in the bottom, I should say. And then we'll go back up to the top. All right. And then we'll just do the other side. And like I said, so you can pick whatever color scheme you want. And you can choose just two colors, like base coat color and top coat color, and that's it. We're going to use three different top coat colors to really make the gradient pop but you can really choose whatever you would like. That's the beauty of knowing how to do this on your own, all right? So make sure you say hello when you're hopping on. If you're watching this on the replay, make sure that you hashtag replay and say hi. Hi, Kelsey. How are you? All right. Kelsey, we're painting Buffalo Check Plaid on a shamrock. Very exciting news. Very exciting stuff. I am not. Yes, we need one more piece. One more piece. All right. What's everybody up to this Monday night? How was your weekend? Okay. I know it seems silly to tape those edges, but hey, it's where it goes. Okay. So three different greens. Oh, I got to show you my new paintbrushes. So I got new paintbrushes. Hi, Krista. Awesome catching you live, Krista. So I got new paintbrushes from Michaels. So they're not fancy or anything, but they're not they're not wood, um, so they won't get ruined as easily. <laughs> um, and they're nice and big paintbrushes. I had some coupons and stuff, so I got some new materials that were very much needed. All right, here we go. Let's get some paintbrushes out of here. Let's use. I want to really. I want to use these um, these rounded ones, but. Eh, we'll go with these. Oh, they're all taped in. They're going to make this complicated on me. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. I mean, I get why they're taped in, but, you know. Good, how are you? And green and white buffalo check plaid. Right? Yes. Obviously. Okay, we'll do that one, that one. We'll just go all 
with the black nylon tonight. I'll get those later. Okay, so we're gonna use three greens. We've got Kelly green, our bright green first, then we'll layer that with Christmas green, a darker green, and then our darkest green, English ivy green, okay? And then we're gonna put on the word for welcome in Gaelic. I learned how to say it, although I feel like by the time I announce how to say it, I'm gonna have forgotten how to say it, but we will make do. Oh, I need something to put my sugar. I need something to put my, oh, here we go. I'll just use one of my things. I tried to clean up in here and I threw away all my plates that I put paint on. So little trays that mom got me. Hi, Julia. All right, let's get some green going, some Kelly green going. Righty. So Buffalo check plaid, first layer, Kelly green. Here we go. So we're just going to paint um, in the spaces, okay? And you can put as many coats as you want for your desired level of coverage. Now, I'm, I'm going for more of a rustic look, so I'm only going to do the one coat. And if some of that stain pops through, that's totally fine with me. Um, how you doing, Julia? Um, also, when you're painting with painter's tape, never go up against the tape. Always go with the, the way the tape is taped, <laughs> the way it's on. That will prevent it from bleeding, okay? So just a little tip. And that's if you're using painter's tape on a wall or on a project. That is my tip for you. I'm going a little bit more on the green there. There we go. Okay. So we're just going to paint this layer. Then you dry it. Then we retape. Then we paint. Then we dry. So there's one step you take off the tape. One step you don't. Oh, shugs. Please hold. Please hold. We missed a spot. We missed a spot. Hold on. Spacer. I was silly. I was silly. Please hold. This goes here. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now we're good. We're good now, peeps. Sorry about that. I was like, we missed, this is too big here. Okay, there we go. So what's everyone up to? Well, I just totally did what I said not to do. Sorry, I'm a hypocrite. Um, so what's everyone up to tonight? We had, oh my gosh, we had, so it's cold, cold, cold here. We had a little um, skate, we have like a skating rink downtown and we had a little skating rink outing for the school I work for. Oh my gosh, was it so cute. Um, I did not skate. I can skate, but I didn't. I don't know why I didn't, but I just didn't. Um, and then we went out and grabbed dinner since we, I was kind of late with that. So that was super fun though, to see all the kids skating and everything. Hi, Auntie Sue. Um, so say hey when you're hopping on everyone. I see new friends. My name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. I near froze to death tonight. It was so cold at the skating thing. And of course, you know, you're near ice and everything. So it's like colder. It was so weird. So Bob dropped me off and um, I'm like, oh, it's really not that cold out, right? I, I don't understand. And then I walk into, you know, the little pavilion and it's, it's all outdoors. So it's not like I walked, I didn't walk into a building or anything. I just, you know, walked into the kind of like surrounding area where the rink is and it was so much colder. I'm like, I don't understand. I didn't walk in anywhere. It didn't change. Um, Try standing in the sun for a while, but goodness gracious, once that sun was gone, forget it. It was so stinking cold. I had two layers of gloves on, but of course, I'm trying to take pictures of the kids and everything, and I'm I was, so I had to keep taking my glove off. Oh, it was a, it was, I was a mess, guys. I was a freezing mess. Hi, to Kim. All right, so I'm going to take off. We're going to save this tape, okay? Because we're going to retape in a little while, Okay. So we're going to save all this. So you can already see these awesome stripes. All right. Look at that. It already looks cool. Like it already looks cool. Like we could just go with this if we really wanted to. Right? I mean, how neat does this look? It's giving me like a rugby vibe. All right. Now we're going to tape vertically. Okay. All right. Cool. There's all our tape. So this is where we're at so far. This is step one. Okay. Now we're going to tape vertically. Alrighty, sometimes I'm a little dramatic on how much tape I actually need here. Oy, we don't need Kelly Green anymore. Get out of the way. 
Okay, oops, did we just ruin this? Ah, uh, just slightly, just slightly. My paintbrush kind of went on here, but we're okay now, so it's fine. Okay, I feel like I'm all over the place tonight, guys. Um, oh, that's okay. We're painting, um, we're painting a shamrock in Buffalo Check, and then we're gonna put the Celtic word for welcome on it. I learned how to say it for everyone. Although I feel like I'm, I'm already forgetting it. Operator error. <laughs> oh, but it was so it was cute watching the kids skate. I don't think skating is as popular as it used to be. I think partially because it's probably not as cheap to go skating anymore. Um, because most of the kids like really did not know how to skate and just did not have the coordination for it at all. Um, and so it was just kind of interesting to see that, but I do think it's just not as popular as it used to be. I don't know. Does anybody else still go skating? I thought of, um, Kelsey, I don't know if you're still on, but that time, the, I think the last time I went ice skating was when we, we went, I, I got a memory on Facebook. It was like, I don't know, eight years ago or something. Um, we went like just on a pond and it was the time, oh my gosh, get this guys. So we're skating and everything and we don't need this long piece. Um, we were skating, having a grand old time, and I fell backwards. Now, I'm not a bad skater. I just, you know, you have your moments. So I fell backwards, um, and I had a barrette in the back of my hair. And when I fell, I hit my head on the back of the ice. I hit the back of my head on the ice, and my barrette popped open. And I, I must have gotten, like, I feel like I got a concussion, to be honest with you. Um, because I literally, I felt the back of my head, felt the barrette, and I thought the barrette was a piece of my skull. Like, I thought I had just cracked my head open, which I've cracked my head open twice in my life, so it's like a real thing. Um, but yeah, so I was like, maybe I shouldn't ice skate anymore. <laughs> um, so that was the last time I went ice skating. Which, yeah, so, yeah, maybe it was a maybe it was a good life decision that I didn't go this time. <laughs> but, yeah, that was so funny. I literally thought that I had cracked my head open when I felt my barrette in the back. O-M-G. All right, so let's get a small piece for this. Perfect. We had one left over. Okay, so now I'm going to take um, our next level of green okay so like i said you can either just use the same green same whatever next color over and over like this kelly green or whatever you're using you can just use it over and over and it will naturally get darker but i want to just overemphasize that so i used kelly green first now i'm going to use a christmas green okay now i know i don't need as much paint so this is what we're using next is christmas green these are all apple barrel okay i'm just going to use a new paintbrush and now we're gonna paint the opposite way, okay? So it's just gonna give us some depth with the different greens. Oh, I like this paintbrush. And you're painting over one of your other stripes, so it's automatically going to darken that too, okay? And once you're done, so if you're watching this like on the replay and you're trying to you know, follow these steps step by step, don't get ahead of yourself at the end of this step and remove the tape, okay? At the end of step two, we do not remove the tape. I wanna tell you that ahead of time, okay? I don't want you to be like, I know how to do this, and you're fast-forwarding and untaping. No. At the end of step two, you do not remove the tape, okay? I wanted to do something kind of simple tonight, but a new technique that I haven't taught before. Um, I know some people watch this just for, like, the fun chat and everything, but I don't know. I kind of like to teach as well, um, you know, different techniques that I've learned as I've done this, you know, process and everything, so... So that's what I figured I'd do tonight, more of a lesson than anything. Not that we still can't chat, you know what I'm saying? And then after um, after the skate thing, because we were a little bit late, we went out for sushi. Oh my gosh, love it. We get um, this, this kind of sushi called tuna crisps. So it's like tuna and um, like spicy tuna. Not wicked spicy though, because I'm not a huge spicy person. Um, tuna and... What else? Cream cheese and something else delicious. And then they do like a tempura batter. So it's kind of like semi-cooked. Oh my gosh, is it to die for. So good. Well, that was a perfect amount of paint. Yay. I hate wasting paint. Okay. So now, second coat of the green is done. 
Yeah, look at that one. Perfect amount of paint that time. Too much paint that time. Perfect that time. All right, so we put that brush away. Now we're going to dry this. And like I said, do not remove the tape after, okay? We're going to use the tape. We're going to keep the tape on. Because that'll be our, our third coat is the weird one that you have to use both sets of tape so that you're just using um, Haruki. We got a Haruki on the east side. We love that place. It was so good. Oh, and it has like a sweet sauce and then a and a spicy mayo on top. Oh, so good. Dip it in some low sodium sauce sauce. Has to be low sodium because more than that, it's just like, ugh. Um, and then I got pad thai as like my meal. So we just got some sushi to start and then pad thai is my meal. So good. And then, so when we go to this place, it's like an all out moment. We get sushi and then a meal, which the meals are not like massive. And then we share dessert. So they do, um, they do fried ice cream, tempura fried ice cream, and they do f tempura fried Oreos. So we always split them and, um, oh my gosh, it's to die for. The ice cream we get is a green tea, like matcha ice cream, which I don't even like. I don't even know what matcha is or green tea, and I'm like not even a part of that fad at all. But for some reason in that, it's delish. I'm going to dry this a little bit more. So good. So good. All right, so we have finished the second part, okay? Hi, Michelle. How are you? All right. Almost there. Now what we're going to do is you can still see your tape. I'm going to see if I can lift this so you can see. Okay, so... Can you, I'm not sure if you can, but you can still faintly see the horizontal lines from underneath because they should be a little darker than the second one. We're going to retape over those lines, okay? I'm getting paint all over me, people. Okay, so we're going to retape over those lines. You'll see them clearly when you're doing this, I promise. So I'm going to stand up for this just so I can do it as best that I can, okay? So you just line them back up. It's not terribly easy, but it's not terribly difficult either. And then just retape, okay? So you're just gonna go through and retape over your other lines. This is creating those kind of smaller blocks where the darker color, the darkest color will go, okay? Do, 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 do. I need a small piece right here. All righty, and then at the end, you just tear it all up. All right, and there's a reveal. Sorry, this one's difficult. This one is difficult, but it's right there. Okay, I got it. I got it. Whew. All right, like I said, it's not terribly difficult. But it's also not terribly easy. <laughs> nice bright light helps. I got some nice bright lights in here. All right, last piece going on up here. Somehow I used less pieces than last time. Someone explain that one to me. All right, at least I have my glasses on so I can kind of concentrate. Okay. All right, we are all taped back together. Oh. So, Michelle, we are painting, I know, it's like, what on earth am I doing here? Um, we are painting buffalo check plaid. And I know right now it just kind of looks like a weird green mess, but I promise it's going to be something. So we're going to go in with our third darkest green color. This is English ivy green. Okay. And we are going to paint the rest of this. I really don't want to use a brush this big. So hold on. So please hold, we're gonna use one more smaller brush. I'm excited about my new brushes. I needed them, but you know what? It's totally my own fault that my old brushes got ruined because I would just leave them in the water all the time and I need to not do that. So I'm gonna try to take, did I just get paint on this? No, I'm gonna try to take better care of my brushes, okay? So now we're just gonna, again, paint between the lines, paint in all these squares that we just created. Um, and this will be the last color. I don't know if I'm going to, got to be honest with y'all, not sure I like this last green here. 
but that's okay. We're going to make it work. This one's tough because it's kind of like anti what I told you about how you don't paint into the into the direction of where the tape is painted. I mean, taped. I don't know, like you don't paint against it. It's kind of hard not to in this case. So just be gentle with it. Try not to push any paint under the tape. I mean, if you have some bleed, it is what it is, right? I mean, this is not perfect, guys, right? I mean, we've talked about this many a time. So, okay. So I'm just filling in all of these squares and then we will do the final reveal. Oh my gosh, these brushes, these brushes are gorgeous. I am in love with them. I am going to take good care of them because these are really nice. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I am a happy, happy crafter right now. I have been to Michael's like three times in the past two weeks. But it's because I've needed so much yarn. Did y'all see um, the picture from this weekend of all the different projects? Oh my gosh. Hi, Donna. Um, all the different stuffed animals. We have so many orders right now, but I'm like in love with it right now. So I finished the fox. Last week I was talking to you guys about the fox. Um, so I finished the fox and that's getting shipped out this week and we're shipping out the carrot, the carrot, the giraffe, the duck. We did a little shamrock. Um, that's all getting shipped out this week. And then, um, I'm on, I'm doing a moose right now and I'm going to try to finish that moose this week. If I can, I'm going to go do some more crocheting while I watch wrestling with Bob after this, just drying up our third coat here, guys. Um, and then after the moose, I've got two penguins, um, dog, a frog. Oh, I got a frog order. I'm excited about that one. Um, that one should be, I've never done a frog before. So I've got a lot of orders right now, and I'm very excited about it. I am so appreciative of everyone placing their orders. I'm like, it's, I, so it's funny. I love crafting. But I do think crochet is what people like the most. Um, so I'm happy to just do whatever people like. All right. We ready for the big reveal? Get this out of the way. Get that out of the way. I'm going to put these away. And then after this, we're just going to do a simple, um, a simple little hanger and put a welcome sign on it in Gaelic. And then we're done. Okay? This isn't... If I didn't talk through it, it probably wouldn't take quite as long to do the buffalo check. I promise. Okay. Oh, this looks cool. Okay. I love the different greens. I love the different greens. Yes. Okay. Sweet. I just messed up my word. I hope I spell it right. All right. These kind of peel this up. Oh, I am a huge fan of this right now. I had a little bit of bleed through, but that's okay. I'm not upset about it. It's rustic. You could always do a, like a quick sanding on this and that would kind of get rid of it. Oh man, guys, this came out great. Look at it. Look at how cool this is with the different colored greens. Look at that. Isn't that fun? So this is what we made guys. We did our own Buffalo check plaid. How stinking cool is that? So you can see all three different, the Kelly green, the English green, the Christmas green, all coming through. Is that not the coolest thing? Oh, Bethany is a fan. I'm going to give this one more quick dry. It's a few spaces that are still wet. So like I said, I had a little bit of bleed, a little bit of, you know, but who cares? Like I said, you could give it a quick sanding if you wanted to, um, but I'm not going to worry about it. Thank you. Like this is kind of rustic, rustic Irish, you know. That's and that's my, my preference. I'm actually wondering if we should put a nice big raffia bow, at the top, with our welcome in Gaelic. So okay, I learned. So, in Gaelic, the big thing is seeing the, um, hi Liz, is seeing the the Gaelic phrase for a, a hundred thousand welcome, welcomes, which is, Cade Mila Falcha. Falcha, Falcha, something like that, okay? I learned this before we got on. So I'm just going to do welcome, which is just Falcha, which is F-A, I'm going to use Scrabble letters. I don't know how I'm going to do this. F-A-I-L-T-A. 
E. But I kind of want it to just go along this side here. Alrighty, so we're just going to kind of layer this down. Yeah, we're just going to have it follow, kind of follow the curve of the shamrock bottom of the leaf here. All right, so it says falcha. And then, I don't know, should we put a big, what do you guys think? Should we put, you can kind of see where I'm putting the word here towards the bottom. Um, oh, or should we just put it on the stem? That way it's a little bit more centered, and then we can put a big bow at the top. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. But I'm still thinking we should put a bow at the top. What do you guys think? Should we put a big raffia bow at the top of this once I glue these on? Just replacing so I can glue them on properly. Alrighty. Okay. So I've got my hot glue gun ready to go. Get this near to me. Hi, Mary. So once I glue this falcha on, which is welcome in, in Gaelic, do you think I should put a big raffia bow at the top? Let me know. Now this is Gorilla Glue. Um, so it will hold these Scrabble letters down a little bit better um, than just your typical hot glue because these are really slippery um, and have like a nice slick finish. So a lot of times the hot glue just kind of doesn't do its job at all. Um, and I'm not guaranteeing that this is going to hold either because sometimes it doesn't. But uh, most often it does because the Gorilla Glue is temperature resistant as well. And it's like sun resistant and stuff. So if you're going to hang this on your front door, the sun isn't going to remelt it and everything. So just drop some comments. Let me know. Should we put a big raffia bow on the top of this? after we glue the falcha down, which is um, which is whatever in Gaelic. Welcome in Gaelic, dear Lord. Dear Lord, it's late, guys. I started late tonight. It was dinner, threw me all off. Threw me all off. All right, and we can get this E on. Oh, and these are just little Scrabble letters that I get on Amazon. Um, I got one box of them last year and we're still going. So they last a long time. It's like a box of 500 letters or whatever. So, all right, so that says Falcha. All right, so I'll show you where we're at so far with that. All right, so it just says welcome along the bottom. I know it's backwards, but just a little something cute. You know what I mean? I wanted, I didn't want it like centered or anything. I wanted it as a little accent. Let me grab my raffia and we'll make a nice bow. Whew. We'll do a big old bow at the top and then we'll glue on a hanger and we'll be good to go, okay? Kelsey says yes to the bow, and when Kelsey says yes, it means we're doing it. So, there we go. Kelsey says yes, it's happening. It's the way we roll. So, I'm just going to pull out our raffia. I just kind of grab and try to keep everything else in there as I grab. Try to keep it together as one. Let's just trim this where we at. Where my, where my scissors at? There they are. Whoops. Chill, guys. All right, we're just going to trim this. All righty. <laughs> Kelsey, has it any, ever been any other way? Kelsey says, yes, it's happening. All right, so we got our raffia. That's a mess. And all right, we're just going to... We're just going to do a bow. Just about like that. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, let me get some thin ribbon to... Get some thin to tie this together. Some thin jute. This is my Dollar Tree jute. I've had it for like two years now. Haven't run out yet. We're getting there though. I'm going to need one soon. <laughs> All right, let's tie this together. All righty. Not going to double tie it yet. I just want to make sure it's centered. I always tie bows and they're never centered when I tie them. And I wonder why it looks silly after. Oh, okay. Whoops. All right. Let's just tie this in a nice knot. Do one more. All right. Cut this baby off. 
So, remember, falcha is how we say it in Gaelic, welcome. And then, cave mila falcha is how you say 100,000 welcomes. Um, and then we've got this, this. Oh, well, this looks cute. All right, we're going to kind of like... Look how cute that bow is. Yay. We're going to glue that right at the top. Well, you know what the good part about this is? It hides those old... Those old... Um, holes that we're not going to use for our hair. Okay. I'm going to stand up for this again to make sure that I center it. Questions were asked. <laughs> oh boy. What did I start? Uh-oh. Is this coming untied? That's not helpful if that's coming untied. Uh-oh. There we go. Well, we're going to glue it. So it'll stay tied once it's glued. So we're just going to put a whole bunch of hot glue. And we're gonna center this right at the top. Oh, fudge. Okay, we're just gonna hold that down. Let it do its thing. That's really funny. Questions were asked, answers were provided. Now again, if you're just hopping on, my name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. Um, we do all sorts of crafts. We do a craft live once a week on Monday nights, sometime between 8.30 and nine, um, depending on how put together I am. Um, and then we also do crocheting made to order, crafts made to order. You can buy all the crafts we make too. So hit us up, baby, in a message, all right? All right, there it is with the bow on top. Oh, I like that. That looks cute. Okay, cool. See, Kels, good call. All right, and then let's just throw a hanger on the back. All righty. I'm going to cut some big jute rope from the Wally Mart. Maybe color a green Scrabble square. For a bow. What? Oh, for the bow. Oh, like for the center? I should come up with something for the center. That's actually a good idea. I have some blank Scrabble squares. Maybe I could do something like that. Um, all right. And now we're just going to glue the hanger on. All righty. Glue the hanger on. I'm just going to kind of go around the, the heart. Now, so this is from the Dollar Tree. Um, it technically had, it was supposed to use this side, but I didn't like that side as much. We did a project with that last year with that side. You can kind of see it up there. We, um, we scrapbook papered. Thank you. So I wanted to do something different with this. So we use the back. Never underestimate flipping something over. Okay. Always an option to flip something over. Just using my scissors to push this into the hot glue. This hot glue, my only, I love this hot glue so much. This is only like the third hot glue stick I've actually used since I got this. Um, and I love it so, so much because it's awesome. But it leaves a lot of strings. I don't know, maybe it's user error. Okay, are we ready? Let me show you the reveal here. And there she is. What do we think? We painted our own buffalo check. Now, just, to, you know, if you're just catching us now, um... Gra go on the replay so you can learn how to paint your own buffalo check plaid it's very easy there it's only three steps it's super easy um and then these are just scrabble letters it says falcha which is how you say welcome in gaelic which for those of you who don't know because i shouldn't be assuming and i apologize that's um like the language the irish language is gaelic um so that's that's our project for tonight A little rustic saint patrick's day all right well, thanks everyone. This was super fun. Quick, kind of, well, sort of quick. I don't know. Cute, easy. And now we have a video teaching how to do Buffalo Jack plaid. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know. Any orders, let me know. You can buy this or anything else that we've made um, if you need it for your St. Patrick's Day decor. All righty. Thanks so much for uh, spending part of your Monday night with me. I think I'll be back next week. Yeah, we'll be back next Monday night. All right. Check it out. Have an awesome week. Thank you again for joining us. And always remember to count your stitches. Bye, everyone.